What does the well-dressed astronaut wear? Well, you want something smart, something with epaulettes, something that gives you a feeling of, well, fashion. Now, Under Armour and Virgin Galactic are getting ready for takeoff and have unveiled the spacesuits for Virgin's first commercial flight and astronauts. Bearing in mind you've paid $250,000 for a ride on Galactic. I spoke to Virgin Galactic founder Sir Richard Branson and Under Armour's CEO Kevin Plank. And Kevin Plank told me what it was like to hear that they were going to be designing some attire for space. <laughs> For a company who's, who's built our mantra around um, being the human performance company and, and the most incredible innovative product in the world, this is the kind of phone call you can only dream of when Richard calls and says, can you help us with our suits and what the astronauts are going to wear into space? So it was the opportunity of a lifetime and one that, frankly, it, it, was, it was really no different than um, we looked to outfit or kit out one of our... Uh, one of our teams, just the approach began with, with the, the consumer or the athlete or the astronaut in this case. Uh, and then we backed up with what's the problems that we're solving for. And it began with everything from variability back and forth from temperature, uh, what that might mean, into just comfort. Uh, so we were able to take inline, about eight inline technologies and actually utilize them to build the, uh, you know, the, the, the dozens right. of components that went into building this, this actual suit. So. Kevin, do you think having something like this distinguishes uh, uh, Under Armour from your competitors, who, are, who often are very sports-specific versus overall performance-specific? Yeah, of course. And so, you know, we like to say is that we've been really positioning ourselves as uh, performance being the heart and soul of this brand. And uh, the people have asked us about what that means from a trend standpoint. You know, there's nothing uh, that we will build. We like to say that without beauty, there is no performance. And I think that's something that comes through uh, in this suit, which, again, uh, won't be going and actually be put into use for, you know, several more months into 2020. Uh, and the same thing I think you'll see with the, with the, the line coming out from Under Armour is that uh, we will have a performance right. bent, is that when you see Under Armour, it's the brand that... Uh, you have to, to confirm, is that an Under Armour top? Not just because it's got a big logo, but because it's incredible looking. And then the next question naturally has to be, if it's Under Armour, well, what's it do? Right. Um, so for, in this case, you know, this suit basically does everything. Uh, the top I'm wearing right now, it's helping my muscles oh. recover as well, giving me great stretch. And if I walked into a rainstorm, I'd be perfectly fine right now. Perfect. You should make but it in pinstripes. Uh, Richard, <laughs> none, 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 none of this is getting getting a free free suit. <laughs> well, I was just about to ask you, Richard. Please, please tell me that for a quarter of a million dollars for the ride, you do throw in the suit for free. <laughs> we we do throw in the suit for free. So if I was you, I would buy a space ticket, and we'll uh, be delighted to to fit you out. Or Under Armour would be delighted to fit you out. <laughs> Oh, now you're giving away his stuff. <laughs> no, um, at some point, Richard, it must be getting <laughs> exciting. It must be, you know, there must be a, a real free song for you that this is now real and it's getting closer and this is going to happen. Oh, it, look, it's, it's tremendously exciting. I haven't let myself get excited for the last 14 years because it's been a long, long haul to get here. But... Um, now we're getting so close, um, it, it's in incredibly exciting. Um, and, you know, in the next couple of weeks, we're going to be uh, uh, turning Virgin Galactic into a public company um, and, and involving, the, you know, the public and uh, institutions and other people in, in the first ever space company. So Bye. exciting, exciting few weeks ahead and a few months. Richard and Kevin, thank you, gentlemen, uh, for joining us. I won't wait for the suit in the mail for the space, but I'll stick to my pinstripes <laughs> instead. Gentlemen, <laughs> thank, you, thank you very much indeed.